Hello students, welcome back after our long vacation. As you know that we have already studied chapter 3 fiber 2 fabric of chemistry before the vacations. Okay, so here I am revising this chapter again. So just have a look of this chapter fiber 2 fabric uh, that we have already studied before the vacations. What is fabric? Okay, then we have studied about what are fibers. Fibers, a fiber that we have studied that a fiber is a hair like strand from which all fabrics are made. Then we have studied there are two kinds of fibers, natural fiber and man-made fibers. We know that the fibers which we obtain from nature, these are known as natural fibers. And some examples of fibers which we have studied, these are cotton, jute, silk, wool, etc. These all are the natural fibers. Then we have studied about the man-made fibers. Means the fibers which we obtain from, uh, which uh, are prepared by man. So these are known as man-made fibers. And the other type of fibers which are obtained from chemical substance means these are prepared by human beings. So these fibers are known as man-made fibers. Some of the examples are here. They are rayon, polyester, nylon, acrylic, and uh, uh, acrylic that is also known as cashmere, etc. So these are the examples of man-made fibers. Now <clears throat> I have sent you the worksheet. Okay, so here is the worksheet uh, that I have sent you, the worksheet one related to the these slides. So look at the worksheet that I have sent you. Uh, classify the following fibers as man-made and natural. Means you have to uh, identify which is a man-made fiber and which is a natural fiber. So number first, uh, we can see the number first is nylon. So nylon is, uh, we can say that this is an artificial fiber. Then the second one is wool. Wool is the natural fiber, cotton is the natural fiber, silk is a natural fiber and it was, uh, this is a, in natural, this is an animal fiber, polyester is artificial, rayon is artificial, acrylic is artificial and jute is natural fiber. Okay, then uh, the second question I have sent you that was uh, true and false. So fiber is basic unit of all fabrics, yes true. Jute is the outer covering of coconut, that is not false. Silk is prepared from the stem of a coconut, no, it is prepared by the silkworm. So that is, it was prepared, it is a uh, right, uh, it is prepared by the silkworm, so this is also false. Polyester is a natural fiber, no, it is an artificial fiber, so this is also false. Then, uh, this is another slide that is related to the previous slides, uh, that uh, how many types, what are fibers. Uh, the fibers are like thin strand from which clothes are made that we have studied. Then we have studied that fibers are two types. One is natural fiber, another is man-made or artificial fiber. And further, the natural fiber are classified into two parts. One is plant fiber, another is animal fiber. So this we have studied. Plant fiber means the fibers which we get from the plants. These are known as plant fibers. For example, cotton, jute, these are plant fiber. Then animal fibers which we obtain from animals for example silk and wool okay so next is uh, in this chapter we have studied about the animal fibers in details right? so there are two kinds of uh, animal fibers we have studied in this chapter one is uh, wool uh, and another is silk so these we have uh, studied already so look the uh, first one is animal fiber so first animal fiber is wool so you know that wool we are getting from the uh, wool comes from the sheep goat yak and some other animals these wool yielding animals we are here on their back body you know? so uh, wool from where we are getting the wool from sheep and these animals body so in on these animals body uh, hairs are present so these hairs are work like a uh, fiber and these fibers we are using in different different ways so why do you think these animals bear hair on their body? Because uh, the hairy skin of the ship has two types of fibers that form its fleece. Number one, and we know that uh, their body is covered with two kinds of fibers. Number one, uh, fibers are also known as fleece. Okay, fleece meaning is 
hairs and fibers okay so their body is covered with two kind of uh, fibers number one we can say that coarse and another is soft and that we have already studied that coarse fibers are very hard na that hard is known as coarse fibers so uh, coarse fibers means the animal's body coarse fibers are used for different kinds of wools and uh, soft fibers are used for making wool and another kinds of things so we can say that there are two kinds of fibers are present on their body coarse and uh, soft that we can see on our body also uh, our body hairs like uh, arm hairs and other hairs are very coarse and uh, beard hairs like uh, in the uh, if we will talk about the man man so man beard is also a very coarse so there are two kinds of fibers same kind of fibers are also available on the ship's body uh, uh, ship's beard fibers are very coarse and their skin fibers are very soft so these fibers we are using in different different ways uh, another we have studied about the selective breeding that we we have already studied so that we will see here next is uh, what is selective breeding hai na selective breeding we have already studied means the process of selecting parent for obtaining a special character in their offspring such as uh, under hair in ship is called selective breeding that we have studied selective breeding means uh, for uh, ships are reared reared means uh, for uh, giving them a uh, a uh, food shelter and rearing for getting the different kinds of things different purposes so here ships are selected different special qualities of ship are selected suppose uh, one ship has soft hair and they are giving a good quality of wool so we are uh, selecting this a uh, very good quality of wool uh, ship containing these kinds of characteristics so these parents we have selected then after breeding their offspring also also have the same kinds of characteristics so this kind of breeding in a ship or in an animal is known as a selective breeding this we have already studied now look at there the fleas i already talked you about the fleas fleas means the hairs hai na so the hairs of ship is not only source of wool okay wool is also obtained from means we can say that <clears throat> we are not getting the uh, wool from the ship only we are getting the wool from the goat also uh, from the camel also okay so we can say that the hairs the wool of the ship uh, the hairs is not we are getting from the wool we are also getting from the goat so the uh, under fur of kashmiri goat is very soft so it is woven into fine shawl called pashmina shawl so the wool we are getting from the kashmiri goat so this wool is used for making the pashmina shawl okay now another one is the fur on the body of camel is also camel's body is here or fur are also used as a wool so we can say that not only the ship give us wool or uh, uh, but also um, that uh, goat and camel we are getting the wool from them also <clears throat> then i sent you the activity uh, here are two activity i have given you uh, one is collect the pictures of animals whose ear is uh used as wool stick them in a notebook i think you have already done that one and the next one is feel the hairs on your body arms and those on your hat do you find any difference with seam coarse and which one is soft so we have already discussed about the coarse and soft coarse means the hairs which are very hard <coughs> then the next is uh that uh, this is the revised slide that we have already studied Uh, which thing we have studied like wool comes from sheep goat yak and other animals so these wool yielding animals bear hair on their body so uh, the another question is there ki why these animals have a thick coat of hair so answer is hair trap a lot of air why we you know that why these animals have a thick hairs on their body so these hairs help them to feel warm okay so these hairs trap the air and we know that air is a poor conductor of heat so hair keep the these animals warm so that's why their body is covered with hairs and the hairy skin we know that there are two kinds of hairs are present on their body coarse hairs and the fine and soft hairs so and then we have also studied about the selective breeding means the parents are chosen to give birth to ship they have a special characteristics so these breedings are known as selective breeding <coughs> then uh, here are some animals that yield wool 
so now our first is commonly available in the market is ship wool ship wool is commonly available in the market yak wool uh, from where we are getting the yak wool in tibet and ladakh mostly the yak wool is uh, we can find the uh, yak wool in tibet and ladakh and mohair is obtained from angora goats mohair wool we are getting from the angora goats and these angora goats are found in the hilly regions such as jammu and kashmir then wool is obtained from goat here also so the uh, under we are talking about the kashmiri goat so kashmiri goat is uh, very soft and soft hairs we are getting from it and these soft hairs are, are used for making the shawls and these shawls are very famous these are known as pashmina shawls the fur on the body of camel camel's body's furs are also used as wool so these uh, there are two kinds of uh, we can say that llama and alpaca llama and alpaca these camels are used uh, their hairs are used for making the wool so these are found in south america uh, south america and these are also yield full and then i sent you the uh, worksheet related to previous slides so what are fibers that i sent you name the source of obtaining fibers name some wool yielding animals in which part of india yak wool is common so you know that what are fibers fibers are thin strand which are used to make fabrics then we have studied about the name the source of obtaining fibers from where you are getting of uh, fibers like from nature from artificial man made okay then name some wool yielding animals like sheep goat camel yeah uh, this you can write down in which part of india yak wool is common tibet and ladakh that we have already studied okay next is how do the hairs of certain animals help in keeping their bodies warm because hairs trap the air air is a poor conductor of heat and help to keep their body warm right next is in which part the wool yielding animal llama and alpaca are found so this answer is south america right next is define the term selective breeding that already i have defined when selection of a, a special character the parents that they had a special characteristics Uh, selecting of these uh, parents and uh, same characteristics uh, going in uh, their offsprings also this kind of breeding is known as selective breeding next is what uh, for what purpose rearing of sheep is done so rearing of sheep is done for getting the wool okay so this we have studied so uh, the, today i am sending you the revision of these all and the next uh, uh, slides revision i will send you on tomorrow so please go through this revision and if you have any doubt you can message me then i will uh, solve your problems okay thank you